Henry County Schools believes that personalizing learning today will prepare students to be life ready tomorrow. My grades have always been okay, but now I feel like it's not just about grades, it's about learning and retaining that information that you learn, and that's what personalized learning has done for me. Personalizing learning today will prepare students to be college career and life ready tomorrow. District leaders have a strong commitment to creating personalized learning opportunities for students across our region. The enthusiasm for personalized learning is growing. Principals, teachers, the business community, parents, and especially students are excited about the opportunities for learners to take ownership of their education. We've taken bold and concrete steps toward implementing practices that can live beyond the classroom. We have 50 schools in Henry County and we serve 42,000 students, uh, which is the eighth largest school system in the state of Georgia. Multiple schools with K-12 grade levels have already exceeded our expectations and Henry County is well on its way to establishing personalized learning as the norm in our district. I have a voice. I have a choice. The role of knowledge has changed and traditional methods of learning are no longer sufficient for our students today. Our vision is that the student plays an active role in learning, that they are given significant choice when it comes to what, when, where, and how they learn. To move from acceptable to exceptional, our learners must become active participants in the development and design of their education. This allows the student to be invested in the creation of their lesson, basing it on their own interests, strengths, passions, and aspirations. By focusing on metrics that go beyond standardized tests, students can chart their own goal-driven paths. We need to make sure that they have the resources they need to provide skills for the 21st century. They're going to be tackling jobs that are not even developed yet. They're not even thought of. But yet, we've got to provide them with critical thinking skills to, for them to be able to make good sound judgments on how to tackle any situation. Personalized learning is about giving kids what they need, when they need it, and how they need it. It's about being able to tailor the instructional experience for kids so that they can demonstrate mastery of their learning in a myriad of ways that work for an individual student. It's about making sure that we are giving kids an equitable access uh, to high quality learning and doing it in ways that are engaging and fun and relevant. We all learn in different ways. To better prepare our increasingly diverse student body, personalized learning allows for flexibility on the place, time, pace, and mode of learning. I own learning. A commitment to student-centered learning with a focus on high expectations for each student consists of five principles. Using learner profiles and personal learning plans in the classroom. Profiles reflect the student's prior school performance and interests and are useful in determining the student's capabilities and potential. Personal learning plans are co-created by students, their families, and school staff, and chart learning paths that are unique to each student. In the advisory class, we actually have a chance to check in with grades, um, talk about what's going on with the students, set goals, and review the goals that were set previously in the beginning of the year. We focus on them and giving them an opportunity to improve in those areas while making connections with administrators or counselors or teachers during the advisory process is, is definitely something that makes us stand out. When you come to school, you want to have a good education, but you want to have people you can talk to and trust. We get to choose how we learn and how fast or slow we go with it. Including competency-based learning for courses with clearly identified learning targets, where students can move through the coursework as they demonstrate mastery of each target. The time and place are flexible, while learning is constant. It's really a, a student-driven process. I'm there to facilitate, as opposed to the boss who comes in and runs the show. They've tweaked every choice board that has been offered to them, and they come up with their own ideas, their own ways to integrate learning, their own ways to show me that they have mastered what I need them to master. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I choose to learn today for my life tomorrow. Promoting project-based and authentic learning experiences where students learn through real-world projects, problem-solving, and service learning both inside and outside of the classroom. 
They present evidence to authentic audiences such as parents, community, and business members. The students had to come up with a real world problem, so they realized that traffic was a big issue in their community. So once they decided that that would be what they wanted to focus on, they were extremely motivated because this was something new. They weren't sitting in desk listening to the teacher talk at the board. They were creating their own learning through it and it interested them because it was their community. This is get up out of your seat, apply the knowledge. You learned it, I taught it, now we're going to apply it. We got labs back here, we do labs all the time. The opportunities are endless in here. I can be ready for life. Focusing on 21st century skills such as communication, collaboration, creativity, and critical thinking. Learning experiences are designed to foster these key overarching skills and the dispositions needed for the 21st century. These are the skills our graduates need to be successful in all facets of life, including college, the workplace, and in their communities. Our goal is for Henry County students to be effective communicators creative problem solvers, and able to collaborate with diverse teams in all aspects of life. I believe that we're creating students who are ready for the 21st century, problem solvers, collaborators, critical thinkers. When students leave my classroom, they will definitely be ready for college and career. I can connect to the world. Encourage technology-enabled learning to access and learn content in order to demonstrate their mastery through face-to-face, -face, blended, and online instruction. It's just awesome the way the students are able to um, do different things. Like my students in social studies, they've created newscasts, they've created blogs. We have a 3D printer and we're trying to design bridges. Then we're going to print it out on the 3D printer and test our weights and see if they work. This is an eighth grade class and they're very advanced. Now that they finally understand what personalized learning is, they're excited. Our schools are coming to us on a monthly basis and showing us what they've learned, how their personalized learning experience is, has just grown by leaps and bounds and how the kids can't wait to come back to school. My daughter, you know, she's always done exceptionally well in school, but I think personalized learning is going to take her to the next level because it's really going to pull out the innovation. I think that the parents should embrace the personalized learning that's being set up for our children because we're in a different time period and it's definitely going to prepare our children and our children are more prepared for this than we are. So I think we should definitely give them that option and let them excel. Honoring the long-standing culture of school autonomy is integral to this type of school redesign. The district's role is to support schools through the redesign process while providing the guardrails within which each school can operate. The district does not prescribe the model that personalized learning schools adopt. Rather, the redesign process is grassroots, driven by the schools and supported by the district. It is our hope that personalized learning will look different in each of our schools as determined by each individual community. Our schools are exceeding our expectations because they are developing what this looks like. We've provided the framework, the support, the definitions. And the tools we've given teachers is really about, at its core also, celebrating the professionalism of teachers. We have phenomenal educators who are doing amazing work. We're giving them some frameworks, uh, some guardrails, and then saying, go and be the great teachers that we know you are. Our schools have already seen early success in this approach to learning. Students, parents, and community members are truly engaged in the real-world learning experiences that are currently underway. Empowering student choice and learning ensures that personalized learning today is truly preparing students to be life-ready tomorrow. I choose me. I choose me. I choose me. I choose me. Bring it on, real world.